Hello friends, I am Professor Sunil Kumar Vishwakarma and I am back with a new video of how to crack NEET exam mostly in 2017. Thanks for subscribing my last video. Thanks for liking it. Last video was little bit of motivation that how to study, should I start studying or not, will I be able to crack NEET exam or not. But today's video will not at all be related to any kind of motivation. In today's video I am going to totally focus on how to prepare for NEET exam by following three simple steps. First of all, you need to understand one thing. You have taken admission in your 12th standard for two purposes. One is your the board exams, that is state board exam, and second one is your NEET exam. So what comes first should be prepared first. That is your state board exam. So what I want you to do is to follow your Bible. Now when I talk about Bible, it means your NCRT, no, your state board textbook. You need to know each and every line from the textbook. You need to know each and every chapter of your textbook. The day you are thorough with your textbook, you are thorough with your HSE board. And trust me, if you prepare 100% of your NCRT book and 100% of your state board book, you are 100% ready for NEET exam. Now when I talk about a government textbook, you need to understand certain things. First of all, be thorough with your textbook. You know the names of your chapters, which chapter comes first, which chapter comes second. Then you need to understand what are the important points. Now everyone has bought a textbook and the textbook has a stamp behind it saying that it will be giving you back 70% refund of the money. So most of the students what they do, they don't use their textbook at all so that they can get 70% money back. So what I request you is, please don't be worried for the 70% of the amount that you get from the textbook. Please use your textbook. As you can see, this student is one of, uh, this textbook is of one of my students who has never used this textbook. It is totally blank. So what I want you to do is, use your textbook. Now question comes here, how to use the textbook? Please make use of colors. Make use of highlighters. Mark the lines, mark the sentences which you feel is very much important. Now I have shown you four different colors. Each color is going to symbolize something. Now for me it might be something else, for you it might be something else. So what you need to do? Select any color. Let's say for example I pick up pink. I will highlight all those sentences in pink which I find is difficult for me to remember the words. If I pick up blue, it means for me these are those sentences which I find it very much easy. I pick up green, it means these are those sentences which are important with respect to board point of view, but it is not important from neat point of view. And I pick up orange, it means it is that color which will help me to remember those sentences, those words which are important for neat exam. So please make use of your highlighters like one of my students has used all the Sentences as you can see it has been highlighted by different different colors. Now these colors basically helps you to remember. See sentences and words you cannot remember for lifetime. But if you put something in picture, if you put something in color, it is always embedded in the mind. You don't remember the people's name, you don't remember the people's face. But the moment anybody says that boy with a red shirt and a green pant, suddenly you automatically recollect that person. It means what? The color plays an important role here. So please whenever you study, Make use of highlighters, it hardly costs 20 rupees, you can buy it very much easily. Now coming to the next step, once you are done with your government textbook, we need to follow the next textbook that is your NCRT. As you can see, I am mentioning it here, this is your NCRT textbook for 11th standard as well as NCRT textbook for 12th standard. You need to follow your NCRT textbook, but first follow your state board. Once it is done and when you go through these books, NCRT books you will find that your NCRT textbook and at the same time government textbook is somewhere 80% same. It means if you prepare for your HSC board thoroughly 100% you are ready with 80% of your NCRT. How much is required? 20% that you can easily do it. Now coming to the step number 2. So first step is what? Make use of your books very properly, very nicely because these are not your textbook please. This is your Bible. This is your Quran. This is your Guru Granth. This is the most important book that will help you to clear your NEET exam. Take it very seriously. Respect your book. Okay? And learn whatever is in your textbook. Be thorough with your book. And once it is done, then what you are going to do? You are going to follow the third step. Now when I say third step, it is all about following your NEET reference books. Now there are many reference books available in the market. The one which I find better that I will suggest you but you can select any of the books because ultimately the questions of the MCQs 
or any kind of questions asked in the need books they are totally prepared based on your bible now bible means what your hsc state board textbook and your ncrt textbook so what do you need to do for simple for the beginners you can go for modern abc of biology it is one of the best books that i can say now this modern abc of biology it has lots of content the content that is not there in your ncrt book so what you need to do read your content properly solve the mcqs but don't forget the rule which i told you in the first video lecture 200 mcqs every day you need to solve no matter whatever is the reason anything for you might be second but first priority should be you solving 200 mcqs now most of the student they say sir it is diwali let me enjoy my diwali my dear friend please make it very much clear diwali comes every year something that is going to come only one time in your life that is your neat exam 2017 once in your lifetime opportunity it will come only once in your life and if you want diwali to come every day diwali will come every day but neat will come once in your lifetime so what you want to do you need to decide you take a stand you take a call what you want the thing which comes every year in my life is important or the thing that is going to come only once in my life is important that you need to decide but what you need to do follow those three steps first be thorough with your textbook use highlighters mark each and every sentences and words then you move on to your reference book but if you are not thorough with your textbook you are not thorough with your content please don't attempt to solve any of the mcqs because ultimately mcqs gives you four options and out of four you select one by chance if it is correct you become happy if it is wrong you become sad why not to be happy always be with your textbook learn everything then start solving the mcqs there are different patterns to solve but last and the most important thing which i want you to focus on apart from following your textbook apart from highlighting your textbook the third important thing which i have mentioned in the last video lecture also is discipline please prepare your timetable timetable when what and how you are going to study if you are taking biology so you are talking or you are studying in the morning time or you are studying at the night time you divide your day you divide your content and please start studying now there is hardly 2 3 months left for your board exams and nearly you can say there is 7 months left for your exams 7 month i hope you understand 7 into 30 is 210 days and 210 days means a lot it takes fraction of seconds to change your decision to change your life 210 days you think what you can do now in my next lecture i am going to put forward the certain topics which are very much important from neat point of view and if you focus on those topics surely it will help you to get more amount of marks more marks in terms of your neat exam but if you have not subscribed my video please subscribe it like it give your comments any topic you want i can upload the videos with respect to the topics topic that you might find it difficult in your college or in your classes let me know i will help you out by posting it in a very simple simple ways so that it will help you to crack your neat exam 2017 hope you like the video subscribe it thank you very much